What's up guys, good morning. In today's video, we're going to be going over the latest news from Molin Company. I got some exciting things to show you. We're gonna watch a video together, so stay tuned for that. Before I get started though, don't forget to drop a like. I truly appreciate everyone that watches these videos and likes these videos that helps this channel grow and we can reach more people in the Molin community. Think about subscribing if you're not subscribed yet. Don't forget your coffee, here's mine. Guys, this is gonna be a short and sweet video. I know your time is valuable, so let's get right into it. So first thing I wanna show you is what Molin has been building. If you've been a part of the channel since November of 2022, I've always stated Molin is building, building, building a solid company, and here it is. So we've been covering the stock for a couple months now. I know there's been people that have been invested in Molin company for like years now, and they were buying above a dollar. I first bought into Molin stock. Uh, just in the 50s, I believe my first purchase was at 58 cents and I started dollar cost averaging down all the way to 20 cents and then it ran to 60 cents and now we've just been trading it you know, over the months. And you know, the last two months have been very depressing in a way for Molin stock and a lot of people have been getting out of this stock, but I've just been getting very excited. And this is one of the reasons why. So we have their whole lineup, really what they're building and I really do believe that they've been putting out all of this news because they want people to know that they're here to stay. They're here to be a real player in the EV space. Now, I don't know if all of this will be successful and I don't think we should think like that. But the main thing that I'm focused on right now is this right here, these class one vehicles. And last week we got a great announcement that Randy Marion got, they delivered to Randy Marion. Randy Marion's team did an interview, which was even more bullish. I mean, you could just tell these guys were upfront and honest of what Mullins is doing for the future. Uh, quarter three, quarter four, they're gonna deliver more vans. 2024, they're expecting over 30,000 vans. Now, I don't know if all of that is gonna work out. All I know is that this is a step in the right direction. We also got Bollinger Motors right here, and we know there's huge opportunity with this. They've already had 50,000 reservations for some of these vehicles. There's military options possibly in the future, government contracts with RRDS. I mean, there's just so much opportunity. We have IGO up in Europe where they're gonna start selling those vehicles. They're gonna start making some profit on those vehicles. And then of course, we got the Molin 5, and that's coming out into production in 2024. And I know a lot of people are excited about that. So big things are coming. Now, shout out to Augustine. This person said, nice, it's coming together, family Mullen. Okay, so we're gonna watch this video really quick of these vans at Randy Marion and really what has been going on. So as you can see, vans are there, a ton of vans, a whole row of vans, more are coming. So this is just positive news. Now, the only thing you guys gotta be aware of is how the charts move. So if you haven't seen my video from earlier this morning, go ahead, check that out. I posted it earlier today. We go over the charts and exactly what I think is coming from Molin next because Molin likes to move with the news, but then it also likes to sell off once news has arrived and everyone's kind of analyzing what's happening next. So you want to be aware of how Molin stock moves. I'm very big on Molin as a company. I, I think I made that very clear in a lot of my videos. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think Molin has a, a great lineup to launch over these next three years and start producing these vehicles? Because this is the big leagues, you know, they're really trying to make a statement in the EV sector. They're really becoming a huge company. And I don't really know if another company can compare to what they're bringing to the table. I think Tesla is a great company and Tesla has obviously had a lot of success, but Molin is really the only one right now with class one vehicles. And that's what I'm really excited for. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this helped with your conviction on Molin as a company. Of course, none of this is financial advice. You gotta do your own research and do what's best for you. We'll see you later today on the live stream.